At the conclusion of my senior year uh, at the university, which was in 1964, I was drafted by the New York Knicks uh, in the National Basketball Association. Uh, I went, and I was also at that particular time, I had also been accepted into Pitt School of Dental Medicine. So I had a dilemma, you know, do I go to the School of Dental Medicine or do I go and play basketball for two years? Well, uh, I talked, talking it over with my father, my father was not very encouraging as far as wanting me to play, you know, uh, professional sports. And the professional sports was not paying what it does today. Uh, so uh, I went to New York uh, and negotiated my own contract because in those days we didn't have agents. And uh, we came up with a relatively good contract for that period of time. However, you know, the, the money was, was not that great. I wanted to play two years. So as I sat in the office of the owner of the, the uh, New York Knicks at that particular time, he offered to call the dean of the dental school and ask him to postpone my placement in class if, you know, instead of the fall of 1964 to be placed in the fall of 1966. The dean was very adamant about the fact that athletics and academics don't mix. Either you want to be a student or you want to be an athlete. So he wouldn't do it. And uh, he said that if, if this young man wants to you know, enter our school of dental medicine, then he's going to have to take all of his preliminary tests all over again. You know, so I thought to myself, I don't think that that's really what I want to do. So that's what my, one of the major decisions. Plus the fact, like I said, the money was not there. When I got back to the university, the football coach, John Michael Oson, asked, I still had one more year of eligibility, and I had, had not played football until this time at Pitt. He asked if I would be interested in playing a year of football, and he would offer me a scholarship through my first year of dental school. So I considered it, and I thought, wow, that's, that's great, because I, you know, I would be able to get you know, my scholarship and get my first year paid. And I did. I played football, and uh, after that first year of football, I was drafted by the New England Patriots, and I was also drafted by the Pittsburgh Steelers. However, having invested one year in dental school, I decided I was not interested in playing professional sports and uh, completed my dental studies in 1960. You know, there were so many volunteers, so many wonderful volunteers that, that I've had the opportunity to work with over the years to, to just put down key ones. I would say that, to, you know, bringing to my mind would be, number one would be Bob Lovett, who, who actually introduced me to the board of, uh, uh, the alumni board. And that was back, I think, in around 1991. Uh, we hadn't developed a, a national organization at that particular time, and that was the purpose of, of getting some people that, that they felt would be interested in, you know, in pursuing this. Uh, another key volunteer and uh, somebody that, that I respect a lot is Roger Glunt. And during Roger Glunt's tenure, uh, not only as president, but as president-elect, he chaired actually the initial uh, five-year strategic plan that uh, the organization uh, began with and a lot of the the programs that uh, we implemented there are still in effect today and I guess the third one would be my very good friend Andy Kuzmeski and Andy was was a great guy a very gregarious uh, gentleman and also as Roger and Andy and I are all Sigma Chi so that was very important too. Under Andy's um, uh, tenure, you know, we, we established the, uh, the scholarship program as it is today, and Andy was very instrumental in, in garnering the contract for the Pitt Affinity credit card, which helped us out tremendously. At, at that initial strategic plan, five-year plan that we had, one of the tenets of that plan was that we needed to have an identification on campus as an alumni association. Uh, I, I worked very hard to garner that. Uh, the committee at that particular time asked me to develop a feasibility study, which we did. And we came up with a study uh, and a program in which we felt uh, that we could uh, put before the administration, and which uh, at that particular time was Mark Nordenberg was our chancellor. And he okayed it and, and actually asked us to partner with them after purchase, uh, once they purchased the uh, temple, or the Masonic temple. And we went ahead and they asked me to chair the committee uh, to build the Alumni Center. That was probably one of the things that makes me the proudest of, of being with the organization because I, I worked diligently with that. I came down 
uh, during the construction, um, probably two to three times a week, and it's an hour and a half drive for me to come down. But it was a, something that I really, really enjoyed, and we worked extremely hard at. And I think a lot of, also, a lot of credit has to go to our, our uh, original executive director, Lee Petier, in helping us not only to get our alumni association on, you know, on, uh, on track, but also he really helped immensely in the uh, construction of the alumni. Our problem is we, we're doing such a great job with so few people. We need to increase the numbers of that staff. The difficulty and the challenge is we have an economic time today in which we're having so many uh, of our funds, you know, our, our state funds being cut uh, to education, making it very difficult. Uh, under Keith Schaefer's uh, tenure, uh, we went from a paper communications uh, to a uh, electronic communication, which has saved us a tremendous amount of money, but has made it much, much easier for us to connect with uh, our alumni. Uh, worldwide. The values of our degrees today are so much more valuable, you know, than what they were when I was an undergraduate student here. You know, I've always had this belief that the alumni of any university are their most valuable resources. I think the Alumni Association and what we've done uh, up to date, you know, since, like I said, since 1991 and since we did establish a national program, uh, has been tremendous. Uh, in bringing a connection from the alumni to the university.